Mafia the Black Light, Rap Kind TV, checking in once again from Tommy T's, man, the heart of comedy in Sacramento. And I'm here with none other than the star of stage and screen, small screen and big screen, Cedric the Entertainer. Say what's up, my what's brother? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate you, man. And we doing real well, and we hear your set's been killing, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, this is great, man. I love... I started, in your know, course, in the comedy clubs. You get up, you do it on a big level, but it's nothing like coming to that, what we call the dojo, man. Okay, yeah, it's the, the dojo. dojo, baby. <laughs> you go, right. you come into the, okay. you come to the comedy club, you get hard with it. That's yeah. where you go, yeah. Because that's where you're going to get it in for real. Yeah, yeah, of right. course. You got, the, you got the small audiences. It's great. Uh, great audiences, you know. I mean, I've come here and done, you know, shows at the Memorial, okay. Sleep Train. We ain't done them all mm, big, but big then big. also... But, you know, uh, Tommy T's, he's great. He's got another, he got a couple other clubs, but the one he books up in Pleasanton. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time here, so it's oh, a great yeah. time, man. Oh, well, we know it is your yeah. first time here because we've never heard the wave that we heard when you were announced coming oh, here. Except nice. for when, like, Monique, sure. she created a wave, too. Yeah, exactly. D.L. Hughley created a wave when course, he was here man, a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, no, these are all legends, and they, they, they yeah. deserve it, man. They call on that stage, so definitely. Here's what I want, though. Yeah. Because we such a big fan of you. A lot of people, my viewers, they're young. You know what I mean? Okay. 21 and under for oh, the most it. part. Right, and we do a lot of clips and snippets on like Ice Cube, Bernie Mac. We'll run funny stuff just so they can get up on their history. Okay, dig You it. know, on a whole bunch of stuff. What are some golden nuggets you can give us about your experience with the Mac? Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Like, give us a golden nugget that you might not have given out yet of an experience uh, with that good brother. I mean, uh, Bernie Mac, again, was one of the, you know, one of the great comedians. But, you know, he was one of the guys that uh, when I was transitioning, you know, a lot of people don't know the story. But um, when uh, I was coming up, he had done Def Comedy Jam already the first time. So he took me to lunch. I was going to do Def Comedy Jam. We went had pizza at Sabaro's. <laughs> Okay. You know, lunch, though. You what make it sound it? big. We was in New York. We was okay. getting ready to do Def Jam in the second time. Okay. He, it was his second time. It was my first time. Okay. But Bernie was definitely told me, like, look, man, first of all, you got to trust that you're funny. When you come to New York, you have a tendency to be intimidated by the size of the city. Mm. And you get you in, and, and because New York had takes on the bravado that they this big place, they, you try you take on that you're not from anywhere, but you got to remember that you're from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you take that which you take who you are to their place mm -hmm. and don't try to put you don't don't try to put them on who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's you know, and then and that's when you grab power. And so that's when mm -hmm. he wrote, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Oh, that was that? Ooh, that happened. Wait. He that only had planned on doing it one time. But, but he so good. but it was it when it happened, it turned into a thing. I call it the greatest eight minutes of comedy <laughs> ever. I'm big boned. I'm heavy structure. I'm hung low. If I pull my shit out, this whole room get dark. Kick it! You don't understand. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. 